In this tutorial, we are going to practice solving a word problem involving fraction division. The problem reads that a student desk has an area of 15 sixteenths of a square meter. The width of the desk is 5 quarters meters. What is the length of the desk in meters? One approach to this problem is to start by drawing a rectangle that represents the area of a student desk. And the problem states that the width of that desk is 5 quarters of a meter. And what we are looking for is what the length of that desk is. So when we multiply the length times the width of the desk, we would come up with an area of 15 sixteenths of a square meter, which is very close to one whole square meter. So basically, we have a given width of 5 quarters. And we have to multiply that by some other side that is going to be equal to 15 sixteenths. Now, if you notice, our denominator that was given is a 4. And the only way to turn this 4 into a 16 by multiplication is to multiply that 4 by 4. So what I'm going to do underneath this fraction bar that I just added is to write a 4. And the only thing we can multiply 5 by to make 15 would be 3. So the only possible length of the student desk would be 3 fourths of a meter. Another approach to this problem is by taking the given area, which is 15 sixteenths of a square meter, and dividing that by the given width, which is 5 quarters of a meter. So let's take 15 sixteenths and divide that by 5 quarters, and that's going to give us the unknown length. Now when dividing fractions, the first fraction should remain as it is, and the division sign should be turned into a multiplication sign, and we write the reciprocal of the second fraction. So we're going to turn 5 quarters into 4 fifths. The next thing that we can do is look for opportunities to use cancellation. And we can see that 15 and 5 can be canceled because they share a common factor of 5. 5 goes into 15 three times. And 5 can fit into 5 exactly once. And we can also cancel out the 4 and the 16 by a factor of 4. 4 can go into 4 once. And 4 can go into 16 four times. So for the numerator, we have 3 times 1, which is 3. And for the denominator, we have 4 times 1, which is equal to 4. So that is a second strategy to solve this problem. We could say that the student desk has a length of 3 quarters of a meter.